Welcome back to The Source. Out Niagara is a regional advisory committee formed to unite and advocate for the region's gender and sexually diverse communities. Regional Councillor Laura Yip is a project coordinator with Out Niagara. Laura, you've launched a strengths and needs assessment. What is the overall goal of the project? So the overall goal of the project is to um, is to unite and advocate uh, for uh, equality for 2SLGBTQQIA populations in Niagara. And the, the goal of the Community Strengths and Needs Assessment is to find out, you know, what is Niagara already doing really well for this population? What are they doing but could certainly make some improvements upon? And uh, what are we not doing at all in Niagara and how might we initiate those, those things? The timing is right to talk about this with Pride Week just passed, Pride Month, the month of June. What are you hearing from your community about what the strengths and needs are from them? So, I mean, we're hearing a, we're hearing a lot of things. I mean, some of the things are um, around, specifically around Pride Month. I mean, we see flags go up, we see crosswalks get painted, that sort of thing. All of those are really nice things, but this goes far beyond sort of those rainbow initiatives, right? And uh, talking about things like homophobia, biphobia, transphobia, it's more than it's more than bullying. It's more than not using someone's pronouns. Um, it's a lack of access to services. It's that right now in Niagara, trans folks can't find a primary care physician, not because there, there are physicians in Niagara who are taking patients, um, but trans folks can't find a physician. Well, they can't find a physician who can deal with their specific issues is really what the problem is, correct? Well, yes and no. I mean, if somebody um, put it quite uh, succinctly for us yesterday, a physician doesn't have to be the expert on trans issues. They just have to be the place where that care begins right and so having that care for you know i'm coming in because i've had this headache for this long that's not that's not related to being trans right there are there are general health issues that need to be looked after um and then the physician can refer out as as appropriate or necessary i understand you're doing surveys interviews focus groups has this already begun formally no, we're just right at the very uh, beginning of that. So the survey will be launching soon. I don't have a date um, for that yet. And then there will again be the interviews and focus groups that you mentioned. We'll also be doing arts-based workshops and accepting written submissions. And those written submissions, I mean, it might be poetry, it might be an essay, it might be someone just sending an email. We're trying to make the community input as accessible as possible and, and provide as many different ways to provide that input to, to meet different people's comfort levels, right? Um, so that's the, we're, we're trying to have a really well-rounded um, approach here as far as gathering that data. How do you plan to get the word out once it begins? Um, well, I mean, certainly things like this help, so thank you for that. Um, but uh, we have a number of community partners um, and through their agencies, um, we're hoping to spread the word. The advisory committee is 20 community members as well. And so hopefully they'll connect with their communities and, and people in their lives. Um, we have, for the survey alone, we have a goal of 300 surveys. Uh, my goal is 700. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> hopefully we can get closer to 700 than, than 300. But uh, yeah, it, it's really gonna be a lot of word of mouth and a lot of grassroots uh, types of things. How does Out Niagara work with Pride Niagara on some of these initiatives? Pride Niagara does a lot more uh, social events and Out Niagara does a lot more advocacy. Um, certainly, you know, we've uh, we've approached Pride Niagara to partner with us, just like a number of other agencies as well, to say, look, like, how do we how do we work together and how do we make sure that we are reaching um, the largest population possible? So um, we're hoping that they'll have a um, that they'll play a role there, just like we're hoping again, so many other organizations will. You were lucky to get some grant money from the Wage Canada Fund. This whole project, um, the the one that I'm, the specific project that I'm working on is uh, the result of a $300,000 grant uh, from Women and Gender Equality Canada. So we wouldn't be able to do this work um, if, if not for that. Laura Yip, thanks for joining us today. Good luck with the project. Keep us informed. We really can't wait to see what the results are. And uh, I'm sure there's going to be some very eye-opening results from it as well. Wonderful, thanks so much, Mike.